Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Blair. Hello, everybody. This is Max. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 How are you today, Max? I'm great. Thank you for asking. How about you? Um,、uh, I'm okay. Nothing special. Well, um, do you have any good idea what we can talk about today? Hmm. Well, let's see what's trending on my phone. There's some politics. No music. That's no. done. Um, celebrities. No. Okay. What's this one? There's a four-year-old transgender. You do know what a transgender is, right? Yeah, I know this one. Transgender 就是我们说的跨性别者，就是本身不认同自己性别的人。Yes. So it means that a person's gender at birth does not match the way they feel about themselves. Well, that's a topic we've never talked about before. Do you want to make this the topic of today? Okay. I do have some things to say about this, actually. Okay, 那我们今天就来一起聊一聊关于跨性别人群那些背后的故事吧。So, do you know anyone that is a transgender? Yes, I do actually. I met a girl several years ago in London. Her name was Nicola when I met her, and she decided to be a man and had a series of surgeries, and now she is a he and changed his name to Nicholas. That's Brave. 刚刚 Max 老师给我们分享了他一个朋友的跨性别的故事啊。那这个过程呢也是比较 painful。他需要经历一系列的一个手术。那这个手术我们就可以用 a series of surgeries 来表达。Do you know anyone who is a transgender? 我身边的话倒是没有认识的跨性别的人。但是可能我们国内啊，大家比较熟悉的一个跨性别人士就是金星，对不对？金星老师啊，非常的出名。Well, she's a dancer, a talk show host, and actress. One of the earliest transgender people in China. Oh, really? How old was she when she decided to change her birth gender? When she was like eighteen or twenty, I'm not sure. Oh, and she also did the surgery, right? Yes. Okay, but she was already a grown-up at the time. She can take responsibilities for herself. Yes. Take responsibilities for oneself, 就是我们说的对某人负责。比如我们说成年人需要对自己的决定负责，你就可以说 grown-ups should take responsibilities for themselves. Yeah. Well, I completely understand if a grown-up wants to change their gender or choose to be a different person. But a four-year-old? Are you kidding me? 对，刚刚我们看到的那篇文章就是关于国外的一些小孩子啊，年纪特别小。出现了一个性别认知的障碍，认为自己应该是相反的性别。男孩子呢就觉得自己应该是女孩子，女孩子就觉得自己应该是男孩子。因为是小孩子嘛，所以在网上也是引起了很多的讨论。Yes, there are people supporting this, saying children should also be respected to do the things they want and be true to themselves. And there are also people against this. They believe that children do not have self-awareness, let alone correct values and views on life. I agree with that. Four-year-olds, seven-year-olds, they change their ideas every day. One day they want to be a hero. One day they just want to change their gender. Parents cannot just let them do whatever they want. It's dangerous. 对，那确实网上的一个论调也是分成两派啊。有人就觉得，虽然是小孩子，但他们的想法应该也要被支持，应该让他们坚定的做自己。那也有一部分反对的声音就觉得，孩子没有自我意识，无法做出正确的一个判断。那我们刚刚提到的这个 self awareness 就是指自我意识。Yes, it's a life changing decision, and it's not just about changing your name or how people address you. There are medical treatments involved. Kids are just too young for this. Yeah, I agree. 想要改变自己的性别，我们说这是一个改变一生的决定，对不对 ？A life-changing decision. 而且这个过程还需要接受一系列的像是药物啊，还有手术的治疗。小孩子真的太小了，他们无法为自己做出这种决定。所以这种时候呢，就需要家长来进行干预。Exactly. So, Max, how many kids do you want to have?、Mm, ideally, three: one girl and two boys. That's nice.、Um, can I ask you a question? Well, you are already asking a few questions. <laughs> okay. What if your kids are gay or want to be transgender? Well, I am okay if they are gay. If they want to be the opposite gender, that's a firm no when they are under the age of eighteen. After eighteen, or when they are fully matured, you can do whatever the hell you want. 
。那我 Max 老师还是蛮开放的，觉得孩子十八岁以后可以自主做决定了，就随他去吧。不过确实在国外，对于像是 LGBT 这一类少数群体的一个接受度，要比在国内呢高很多。Yeah, I can understand that. Older generations don't have the basic concept of it. It's just really hard for them to accept. 对，在咱们国内，尤其是年纪比较大的，像我们爸爸妈妈呀、爷爷奶奶那一辈啊，他们确实可能连 LGBT 这类群体都没有一个基本的概念，就是说听都没听说过。所以要让他们接受呢，是非常难的一件事情。So that's why there are many people struggling with their identities. And will also be anxious or depressed when they feel they can't be who they are. So here's the story. I have two gay friends, and they're a couple. I took care of their cat once, and I kind of mentioned that to my mother. And my mother was like, "So they're two guys and living together as a couple. Are they mentally ill?"、Mm, yeah, I get that. Chinese parents usually won't understand it. But being gay or transgender isn't a mental illness. No, it's not. 虽然说 LGBT 群体是少数，但是不代表说他们是异类啊，或者说他们是有问题的。Mental illness 就是我们说的心理疾病或者心理障碍。Many trans people are depressed or anxious or become socially isolated, but often it's the fear that loved ones will reject them that bring those feelings. If the people you love don't accept the way you are, that's Just super depressing. It is. 确实，因为文化的一个关系，目前国内的大部分 LGBT 群体呢，没有办法真实的做自己，因为像是自己的家人、朋友啊，尤其是家人啊，可能无法接受，这就让很多人会产生像是 depressed, anxious， 或者我们说的 socially isolated 这种情况。I still think that people should be whatever they want to be and do whatever they want to do when they are capable of making decisions for themselves. As for little kids. Their parents should take the responsibility for them. 对，还是希望不管是谁呢，都有能做自己的一个权利。但是太小的小孩子啊，不具备自主思考、自主意识的孩子，不要匆忙的下论断。毕竟有些事情呢，是没有办法再去弥补的。希望每个人都能得到尊重和善待。Okay, 那我们今天的节目呢，就先到这里了。So thank you so much for listening. This is Max, and this is Blair. See you next time. Bye. Bye. This podcast is from Morning English. 学口语就来早安英文。